Hi, this is Murph. Uh, in this video, I will show you how to update uh, your CentOS or Red Hat uh, based distribution uh, or server uh, without updating the kernel. So, uh, every now and then we run the yum update uh, to update our um, server, and then sometimes we end up updating the kernel. Um, if you have a lot of dependency or the application requires a specific version of kernel, but you still want to update uh, the, the distribution, uh, without updating the kernel itself, uh, like updating some packages, then you should exclude uh, kernel updates uh, on yum configuration, or uh, you can run a command with yum when you uh, update the kernel. So I'm going to show you here. So I have uh, okay, I have this uh, Red Hat. Uh, 6.3 system here that is uh, the time I'm on update, right? So the first method is uh, I can do vi etsy and then yum.conf. Okay, I can um, add uh, you know exclude functionality here. So uh, you can you can learn more about that if you do a man yum.conf, right? You get all these options here, so you can uh, see what what can you set. Uh, so exclude. So we can use the exclude func uh, functionality here, uh, just to say that you know I want we want to exclude the kernel. So let me show you what I mean. So if I do yum update right now on this machine, so there's nothing configured at this point. It's just a default settings of yum. So I can say yum update. Okay. Now it's gonna give me a whole bunch of yum update, right? So as I scroll, let me make it bigger a little bit for you. Okay, so as you see here, it is gonna install a new version of the kernel. So uh, for, this, uh, for this machine, which I don't want right now, right? So I'm just gonna go Q here, right? I can do like this, yum exclude kernel and then update. Okay. So I just say yum exclude kernel start update. This kind of regular expression here. Sorry, too many window. Okay, I can run like that. So now I shouldn't be seeing the kernel update. We do a yum clean all just to clean my cache. Now there are some uh, yeah we might get this problem where there are some packages that require the uh, new kernel right so I may still get the same errors so in that case I may just use the uh, skip broken functionality here okay okay so it looks like it did it All right, same problem so I'm just gonna do Keep broken. It's not a recommended method all the time for your server. I always recommend you know updating the kernel uh, if you can because there are a lot of security fixes on the kernel. But sometimes you can just do it right. There is always this weird uh... okay. So now. I don't see the kernel um, anymore, right? So that's that's the way. So I can just update it right now, and it should be it would update without updating the kernel. If I do the other method, which I mentioned, you have to see yum dot conf. So if I do exclude kernel, okay. It's going to be yum clean all just to clean the caches so that you know, we're not caching anything. It's done. Now I may still get the same problem.
right so I will still you know have this problem right so yeah I could run it like the way I did it in the previous uh, section I can say skip broken right so that's gonna it's not gonna install those packages that are you know having a dependency issue right so I shouldn't see that anymore okay so now I can update right so uh, that's that's how it, you can do it uh, again um, if you can you know run the regular yum update um, if you have a lot of servers you know that based on uh, that you need to update uh, you can test first on your test environment and then uh, you can run the uh, yum update on the production instances and uh, you know there are ways you know if it's a virtual environment it's better you can you know take a snapshot of your server like the VM snapshot and then run the run the yum update uh, with the uh, recent version of yum I think there is a way to snapshot uh, the whole repository uh, file system as well uh, I may do it uh, do a video on that at some point but that's another option that you can look at but uh, I hope this video helps if you like the video please press like or subscribe to my videos thank you